Thank you for joining us at B-Lab Studios and Productions, LLC. I'm Alan Harris, your host for the GASR podcast from B-Lab Studios, and we have a special guest today that you don't want to miss. This man is full of wisdom and knowledge of the music industry, but also the Word of God. I introduce to you all now, Chairman, Co-Founder, co and CEO of B-Lab Studios, Brian K. Richardson, Sr. How you doing, man? Man, I'm great. I can't complain. God has been so good. Yeah? What has he done for you lately? Well, besides keeping me and keeping me in his word, and it's not that big, I'm so great at anything, but I'm just falling more and more in love with my Lord and Savior. Amen. That's Amen. It. Can't go wrong with that. That's it. Yeah. You know, that's right. Man, uh, you started with music at a very young age, and I've heard a story of anointed hands. You want to tell us about that? Well, honestly speaking, I was five years old. Five. <laughs> five years old. And uh, my dad was a pastor, I'm a PK, and on Saturday mornings uh, we had a family prayer. And my mother's a musician, she was a keyboardist and a pianist, and uh, she plays every uh, Saturday morning. Okay. You know, a little worship, a little music. So one day I got up early, I'm the, I was the mischievous one, I was five. I mean, you know, I love my cartoons and my Captain Crunch, but I was good. And uh, one day I just heard her, and I was on the top of the stairs listening to her, and when she went into the kitchen, I went downstairs and tried what she played, and I played it easily. Just played it. What? Wow. Flat out played it. What? And so my sister came in, and she screamed, and she said, oh, my God. And so I thought I was going to get in trouble because I usually get spankings, at, you know, on Saturday. You know, screaming out in the backyard. That, you know. <laughs> right. So what happened was uh, uh, my father came downstairs and everything. And I started crying. I said, Dad, are we going to spank it? He said, no, no, uh, play what you just play again. Okay. And so I started playing. And then after I started playing, my mother started crying. And my father got some anointing oil. Mm. And I said, what's that? He said, that's anointing oil. So I'm going to anoint your hands for God's glory. All right now. And his honor. And if you hear me, I know you're five, but uh, if you do what the Lord tells you to do as you grow, God's going to do some amazing things for you. And 60 years later, wow. today I'm 60 years old, and I uh, dedicated my life and my in the, the craft that God has invested in me back to Him. Amen. I dedicated the studio back to Him. Amen. I dedicated everything I, I do and have back to Him. And I'm learning, even today at 60, to have a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. I've played for absolutely every organization uh, you can name. But the beautiful part is I now have a relationship my Lord and Savior. That's everything, isn't it? That's everything. I know that's right. Yes, sir. Man, it looks like, um, and I was speaking of organizations, Kojic. Yeah. What's up with that? You played for them? I had 30, over 35 churches under me. I was in charge for a little while for the first jurisdiction of Bishop Courtney in Trenton. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I enjoyed it. It wow. was nice. Uh, the big choir and the big, you know. I was, I was under one of my favorite churches I played for, um, uh, Mother Shirley Graham and Pastor Graham, and uh, that's uh, Holy Temple Church of God in Christ, okay. uh, near the beach, okay. Seaside Heights. It was uh, <laughs> absolutely wonderful. To this day, I honor and love them. I uh, pray that they hear this because they were the closest to me. I, loved, I had many, many pastors that loved me and prayed for me. But they were like mom and dad, oh, even wow. to this day, to this day, they are no joke. We talk about no nonsense, old school, wow. uh, YPWW, uh, just serious, praying warriors. Amen. If you didn't go to Sunday school, you wasn't getting on that organ. I know that's right. And it was just, 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 just a holiness that was just penetrating, and, and I mean, it was just exhilarating. It was, it was serious, and I enjoy. I will always enjoy them. Holy Temple Church of God in Christ. In Tom's River, New Jersey. I'll write a shout out there for Tom's oh, River. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Holding this church out there. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Man, it looks like you've, um, before we get into the real stuff, but I just want to let people know a little bit about who you are. And, okay. and I know you're a humble man and you don't want to brag and stuff, but I'm seeing names like Yolanda Adams, Kurt Franklin, Kim Burrell, Byron Cage, LaShawn Bay. Tell us about your experience with these artists? Uh, many, many years ago, I uh, I uh, did a little something with Verity, and uh, I uh, I was blessed to play for Susie Landa Adams and uh, 
in Boston. Okay. I remember that part. And I also opened up and did praise and worship for Kirk Franklin mm -hmm. in Atlantic City. That was fun. And uh, it was just a different ones. I, uh, I, um, I was an artist. It was good. Uh, the beautiful part about them, I do love everybody you talked about because they're serious about the Lord. Amen. And uh, I thank God for that short experience because it was a learning process. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I played for a lot of them, opened up for many of them. And it was a nice experience. That's all I can say for that right now. But, Let me ask you a question. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, yes. You were a younger man then. Um, and there's this term we use now, talk about headspace. Where would you say you were then? I was a kid. To me, mm -hmm. I signed a contract at 19. Wow. Uh, after I signed the contract, I was thinking flesh stuff. You okay. know, I'm going to get a big house. I'm going to get a big car. And then they had to, uh, Brother Ronald Winans in Michigan, I never forget it, minister to me. I was crying in my, in my room. Mm -hmm. I want to go home. <laughs> I didn't want it no more. <laughs> because I learned then, and I'm learning even now, you want to go to the next level, you're going to go through a process. Process. Folks don't realize you've got to go through the process. There's a price to be paid. Oh, say it again, my friend. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate your honesty as far as where you were at that time. Fast forward to today. Yeah. You've dedicated everything you have and everything you are back to the Lord. Absolutely. Let me ask you this, because a lot of people are out there that want to sing for Jesus. Right. But they want to be a, a gospel artist, too. Right. Um, what would you tell them, like... What would oh. you tell them? Like, if they're going to come to you, before they come to you, they should what? They should first uh, realize that it is a process. Also, they should realize that don't ever get caught up in the gifts. Okay. Get caught up in the giver of the gift, All right. which is Jesus Christ. Amen. If you never get a uh, stellar award, if you never get a... Uh, if you, Not even a dove? Award, dove, all of them. Okay? I... Uh, <laughs> Don't get caught up. Get caught up in Jesus. Because yeah. when you get caught up in Jesus, you'll enjoy the journey. And I have a little motto saying that uh, music is not a ministry if God is not glorified. Amen. And you have that's my uh, motto for life. Amen. And I'm really enjoying the journey now. So right now, helping other artists and new artists, I want to teach them how to simply enjoy the journey and uh, enjoy Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus is the best... <laughs> Award you can ever even imagine. I mean, he can blow your mind and just have you at peace, oh. you know, and just teach you how to live and be happy in him and enjoy it. Is there any other friend like this? No, no, not even close. Hands down? Hands down. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> Hands down. Jesus is my life, my source, my everything. I write love letters to my, uh, my Savior every morning. Amen. You know, good morning, Jesus. This is Brian again. Yeah. You know, I start off, you know, and just, just love on him. And he loves me back. Man, I, I tell you, it's beautiful to hear what you're saying. Yeah. The honesty and the sincerity about where you were then, who you were working with, yeah. but then the process. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that. Um, this is a right. this is a lifelong commitment. Lifelong. And the beautiful part is, it's forever. Eternal. This is, uh, Eternal. I wrote a song called Home that people want me to get ready, I'm getting ready to put out with the group. Uh, this is just a reminder that uh, this world is not our home. Come on. You know, to all the saints of God, this world is not our home. Amen. I'm going to ask you more about that in a minute. Okay. I'm a, but um, you, you, uh, you, know, you built this beautiful studio. You got Amen. all this equipment. Amen. I mean, keyboards, I mean, like if you put them end to end, they might even wrap around the state twice. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, computers and... Uh, just speakers and microphones, all kind of microphones. Yeah. You got a podcast studio. You got, yeah. uh, you know, uh, just everything. Um, yeah. How do you feel about the responsibility? I mean, God has put all this in your hands. How do you feel about the responsibility much of turning that around <laughs> and making it glorify you? Know, there is. Much is given, much is required, Amen. my friend. Uh, a lot of folks say, oh, he's doing great. Yeah, I'm doing okay, but the beautiful part is... God even showed me in the spirit there's more to come because the harvest is ripe and the laborers are so few. It's an honor for me to help uh, the up-and-coming uh, artists. It's an honor to help young men and young ladies to get to fulfill their craft and their dream because I'm looking to the hills that will from with come from my help. Amen. And I'm not trying to be Mr. Preacher. I'm just I'm learning. I'm learning how to love his word. 
Yeah. It's now becoming alive in me. Well, what I have learned, and you tell me if I'm wrong, you tend to imitate and sound like the people you spend the most time with, but also have the most respect for. Right. So doesn't it stand to reason if we spend enough time with Jesus that we'll all eventually become preachers? Oh, man. Why are you trying to make me cry on this radio, this radio station? <laughs> Brother! You spend, Brother! You know, it's like when... when it's like when, um, when um, Peter, they found him and he... Jesus had told him, you're going to deny me three times before the cock crows. And Peter said, never, I'll die for you, Lord. Yeah. And then they finally, somebody says, he sounds like one of them. Right. I can tell from his voice the way he talks. He mm, spent my time God, my God. with Jesus. Yes. See, see, you can't hide if it's real. Nah, if you can't, that's a song. I'll have to give you the royalties. There's a song. <laughs> I, I have to give you the royalties. You hear that? Your oldest brother that. is writing the song in the interview. Ah, you can't hide. Oh, my God. I'm hide. serious. Are we gonna, oh, that's, that's nice. Dude. Amen. I can do something with that. I know you can. Yeah. I know nice. God, is, he, he, he gave you the ear to hear it, and he's going to give you the words to finish Amen. it. Amen. And the music. Amen. And it's such a pleasure when I go in the studio. Sometimes the Lord will tell me, don't go to the uh, the boards. Just go lay down. I got to talk to you. Amen. And then I'm trying to get deep. You know, oh, God, I, you know, go in the tongue. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. And then God says, be quiet. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> God said, just shut up and then just rest. Don't say nothing. Amen. And by the time I wake up, I hear it clearly from him. So it's an everyday process that we repent and, re and forgive because we're always in flesh. And God is rooting for the for all of us, he really he don't want nobody to go to hell. I know that's you know, right. But I'm letting the world know, uh, seek him. He's the return of the Lord is upon us. It's real talk. <laughs> you sound like a you sound like a court uh, agent of the court. You've just been served. You just been served. <laughs> uh oh, there's another song. There's another. One. See, see, I'm good at that. <laughs> I can give ideas. <laughs> oh, you want to get some serious royalties, man? I gotta get back to ASCAP and put your name on some stuff. Uh, I'm asked after so that works. Oh, so it's all good. We we all set. <laughs> hey, check this out. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you another question. I know yeah. we winding up, but um, tell us about that lady, Brenda. Well, she is my Proverbs 31. Uh, the way God put us together was actually unusual. My sister that passed name is Brenda. Oh wow. And she, I lost. She went home to be with the Lord. Uh, I say about a good three or four years ago. Sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, I'm good. She 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 had a she had a messed up liver, oh, okay. and uh, somebody years ago I'm just gonna call it out so we can expose the enemy. Her best friend put LSD in her hamburger. No, and, she as, didn't. As a teenager, oh and my She hasn't goodness. been the same since. She was a great singer, and uh, she went home to be with the Lord. She went through a whole lot of situations. Oh. But the beautiful part is. I do believe she made it in because she did love the Lord. Amen. And, you know she had a she had a situations, but you know God took her home and took her off, took her out of you know her misery. Can I share something? Absolutely. With you? This is something that the Lord gave me to share with a lot of people because we are very carnal. We're very spiritual in our understanding of the word and our when we're when we're looking at it from a judgmental perspective. Right. But when it comes to understanding God's grace and what he really did oh for us, my God. a lot of us are very judgmental. Love this. But brother. let me tell you all something. This is what the Lord gave me. Because yeah. I was about to do a funeral for somebody and people were questioning because of how right. they died. Right. Even though they professed Jesus Christ and right. got saved and right. baptized. Right. And for the most part walk with the Lord because of the circumstances of their death. Right. Everybody's sitting there and wonder, I hope they got in. Let me tell you something. God did not send his son to die yes. for the times that we obeyed him. Yes. He did not send his son to die for the times we got it right. Yes, God. He did not send his son to die for the times we did exactly as he said he did. He sent his son to die for the times we would be hard-headed. He right. sent his son to die for the times we wouldn't listen. He sent our time for the say He sent Jesus for the days we Teach. would disobey and for the days we would rebel. That's it. But if we have confessed with our mouth the yes. Lord Jesus and yes. believed in our heart that he is the son of God, according yes. to the Bible that I read, that yes. the God that I serve comes out of, yes. who is the living word, who man, is the word of the flesh, it. according to that word, yes. that man, that woman, shall be saved. I got my conference so, speaker. So Amen. let's just um, lay that Amen. all down. Lay it down. We all see what's wrong. If a brother or sister is alive and you see them doing wrong, right. go and encourage, encourage them. Encourage. Don't wait till you stand it over the body to judge right. them. Amen. You're going to preach, man. And then the beautiful part, what you just said, is what Jesus wants. That's what he wants. I, I, like I said, my wife said I'm a fanatic because I can watch Jesus of Nazareth three or four times. But I get little, pink, you know, I, I was yeah. a school teacher for 30 years. Yeah. So visual learning is good for me. Amen. And uh, I just, one time I have to give you this quick episode. 
the, uh, there was somebody, I, the, I guess the, the preacher was preaching and had the scroll out. Yeah. And he said, and you will be punished. And Jesus himself said, that's not true. <laughs> I was on the floor laughing. And then he said, and you will be condemned. Da, da, da. And, and Jesus did that. And Jesus said it in the back. I can show it to you on the TV, on, on Jesus of Nazareth. No, I won't. You know, it was funny. It was really funny. He said, that's not me. Really? <laughs> he wants everybody to win. So your, your heart is right, man. We are, you're on the right path. Well, like you, yeah. I just spend a little time with him every day. That's all. And he tells me things, and that's I take all. them to heart. And, that's it. And, they, and I give them more weight than what anybody else. Any man and you're says. real with it. A lot of folks want to just, you know, get deep behind no. the pulpit and win it. But you know, got young men like this brother here, and just nice young people that just want to hum humbly learn about. Yeah. You know, Jesus just had a robe and a rope around his robe and some sandals, mm -hmm. and walked around and got humble. Yeah. He, he was so place, cool. No he was lay so hand, cool. Laid back. Laid back. Man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Oh man, that's it. But came down through forty-two generations. Forty-two generations. While they was tearing the skin off his back. Let me throw something in there because this man. this actually and I'm not trying to take the subject off. Oh Jesus, man, I'm enjoying myself. Check this out. Most of your artists, right. most of the G A S R yeah. artists that have been uh -huh. discussed uh, had discussed uh, their relationship with you and Brenda, yeah. how lovely you all are as people. Oh, this glory. But the key word I kept hearing was about commitment. Now, when we think of Jesus Christ and what he was willing to do, yeah, you know, what he he had the cup in his hand and he said, you know, not my will. But thy will be done. That's the ultimate commitment. That's it. Obedient even to death on the cross. But even to death. Tell us about the... I don't think you require that much from your artist. Yeah. Tell us about the commitment they need to have when they come to you and Brenda. i rather see somebody that's going to be dedicated uh, with their due diligence and their artistry and their craft. And i rather see somebody that's humble, that's focused. Uh, I don't need the singer. Most singing... People can sing. I, I've sung and worked with the best. But when it comes down to uh, folks just, uh, you know, learning how to learn in the craft and learning how to minister to touch somebody's heart, Amen. that's so much more important than anything. Because when they reach a soul and that person comes and say, could you tell me about that song? I want to know more about Jesus. Yeah. That's all that matters. Amen. The, the Stella Award is nice. The all the awards and the accolades are nice, but Jesus is twice as nice. Yeah, you know that's right. Man, it's Jesus, 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 Jesus. All the way and every day. Oh, oh all the way and every day. Another one. It is. <laughs> you would be crazy rolling to this. <laughs> so, uh, B Lab Studios. Y'all yeah. see the sign? Yes. This is Mr. Bryant Richardson and his wife, co founders, Brenda. Yes. Uh, B Lab Studios. LLC and Productions. Slash Productions LLC. LLC. The B stands for blessed. Let me ask you about this stuff here. Okay. I have some shirts here. What's the website people should go to? Well, right now it's under construction, but I think you still can go to www.blabstudiosllc.com. And uh, I'll even give you an email. So if you want to order it. Now, the first one, the burgundy one says B Lab Studios. And this red one here that's on the chair is yours as a gift. Thank you. From me and my wife in the studio. Oh, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And now if you turn to the pink one, uh, every year we have uh, a combination of all everybody coming together. And that's called the Great Embrace. The Great Embrace is our 501. It's getting ready to be our 501 C3, uh, C3 nonprofit organization where we're going to help men. The men is going to call Men of Integrity and teach men how to be men again Amen. as far as loving their wives and their families and we have one we have a division called the WLLW which is women living life with purpose so I mean there's a lot of things God has given unto me and I'm enjoying this journey it really sounds like you're enjoying yourself oh I mean, man it's after I retired from being a teacher and an administrator I'm, I'm just I, if you notice I took the wig off <laughs> literally <laughs> as you can see I'm bald <laughs> <laughs> and unashamed. And unashamed. <laughs> Naked and unashamed. I know that's right. Well, we want to thank you, Brian, once again for everything oh, you've been doing, pleasure. for what you're going to do for the kingdom, yes, what you God. already started, and how God is using it. Letting him use you. That's everything. And um, I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for the time. I want to thank you for the opportunity. Is there any last word you'd like to share with our viewers, our listeners, before you uh, 
Drop the mic. Yes, yes. Before I drop the mic, uh, since we are a new company and the ministry is first, uh, I'm going to talk to you about it nationally. And whoever comes first, come first, serve. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, different, uh, different states and to some of the churches where I'm not going to require a major orphan or honorarium, but a love gift to help uh, give back probably to the church because Jesus is speaking to me pertaining a lot of folks ripping the church off mm. pertaining to uh, pay me this and I, I'll sing or if you don't I won't sing. Oh, wow. uh, yeah I'm going to go to the core of it now because wow. I've been involved in it. and uh, it's This is time. happening now? Oh man it's been happening for a long time. People in the limousines and the big prettiness you know it, there's some rough stuff that I have to expose. For my Lord and Savior. Folks might not like me, but our Jesus loves me, so it's okay. That's what matters most. That's it, man. You know, my I, dad I'm not used to say, my yeah. dad used to say, if, it's, if you're with the Lord, yeah. and you're standing even with him alone, that's it. though the whole world be against you, Woo, you're still the majority. Yeah. You're still, still the majority. I'm still the majority. So God, stand with God. Stand with absolutely, God. Absolutely, my friend. Man, thank you again for the opportunity it's to talk to with here. you. Thank you for the listeners. And yes. um, I just uh, pray that God will continue to richly bless you. Thank that you. That you will experience great success. And I don't mean monetarily, even though that's nice. Yeah, take that too. But Oh, I'm going to take that. And I'll pay my tithes. I know that's right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I want great success. He who wins souls it is wise. wise. So good luck. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Bless you, man. Have a blessed one. And I uh, thank you. Thank you. Take care now. All right now.